So, take this with each meal. You'll be feeling better very soon, Mrs. Miller, I promise. No, you don't need to do anything to thank me. Seeing you well and cared for is all the thanks that I require. Now go, and get some good rest, young lady. Farewell now. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh, let's hope that's it for a few hours. I really need to clean up before tomorrow's inspection. Uh, probably gonna be in all night. Yep. Gonna be an all-nighter. Hello. I'll, uh, I'll be with you in just a... Oh, my gods. What the... What have you... Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, what the hell? Uh, okay, come on, let's let's get you up on the table. Able to explain why in the hell you're covered in blood from head to toe? What stupid thing did you go running headfirst into this time? Oh, it's not that bad, is it? I'll believe that when I've actually seen it. Alright, up on the table now. I'll help. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Alright, tell me where the worst of the pain is at. I can see a laceration on that bobbly head of yours, and what looks like... Yeah, that's a bleeding bullet hole in your arm. Damn. Okay, uh, now have you got anything sticking out of your body that I should be aware of before we continue? What? Haha, <sighs> <laughs> very funny. Well... Seems like your personality hasn't taken any injury, unfortunately. Alright, I'm gonna need to take off your vest. Looks like no obvious injuries to your chest or abdomen. Does it hurt if I... No. Uh, yeah, this shirt's, uh, this shirt's definitely coming open, too. Oh, quit whining. If you didn't get yourself into these scrapes, then I wouldn't have to go poking and prodding where it hurts. Speaking of... What happened, anyway? Well, I see. Poor little puppy on the ground, some man kicked it, and you... Well, you decided to kick the man. <laughs> Alright. You know what, I can't say that I disapprove, but how does this actually explain the cuts on your head, gunshot in your arm, and... Is that another hole in your leg? <sighs> Thank the gods, it's... Uh, excuse me? Did you just say it's just the mechanical one? <laughs> yes, indeed. And a few inches over, it would have been the biological one. And I don't have time to deal with two gunshot wounds tonight. Those damn city guards are coming in to inspect the place tomorrow. I've got to get the back cleaned up. You, you know how it is. Now it looks like you've sustained some nasty bruises to your ribs, but it looks like nothing is broken. Uh, does it hurt to inhale or exhale? Here, let me have a listen. Go ahead and take a breath. And another. Good. Okay, that doesn't sound abnormal. Alright, so that leg isn't my problem. You're actually going to have to pay two parties here this time. For now, though, I'll take care of my share. Um, Alright, let's start with this arm because your head seems to have stopped bleeding. I think that one looks a lot worse than it actually is. God, how did you even make it here like this? <sighs> I hope you didn't lead whoever actually did this to you right up to my very door. <sighs> Wait, what? He he left the scene in worse condition. You damn idiot. I don't have time to put two people back together tonight, nor do I fancy fixing somebody up who thinks it's fine to kick a dog. And is foolish enough to also engage in a fight with an idiot like you. Oh, right. Well, 
Tell me the rest of the story. You kicked his stupid ass for kicking the dog, and then why? He didn't like that. Well, no surprise. And tried to kick the dog again, but he stepped in his way. Oh. <laughs> and then you hit him. As expected. I guess. Let me see your hands. How in the hell do you have such bloody knuckles? What was his face made of? Jagged adamantite? <laughs> I swear, you have the pathetic durability of a... <laughs> you, you really punched a man with a mechanical face. <laughs> I swear, your brilliant impulses blow my brain. And believe me, I'm a brilliant person. Not much surprises me in this world, but you... I can't fathom how you do it. Anyway, uh, you've got that big gaping hole spewing blood all over the place. Sorry, this is gonna hurt. Oh, uh, I suppose I should actually give you something to bite down on. Here, take this. Will I need to tie you down this time? No? Alright, but no squirming. If you go all floppy fish on me while I've got my tools under your skin, it'll make things ten times worse. So, I suggest you keep still. Alright, let's see here. Did the bullet go all the way? Uh, okay. <laughs> well, the bullet went all the way through. Not without leaving a little bloody tunnel through your arm. Your lucky day today. You missed the bone. Amazingly. <laughs> For once in your clumsy life, fortune chose to favor you. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to make this quick. And... You know what? No, it'll actually be easier if I fasten you down. Shush. You know it will be easier on both of us. It's a whole lot better to be able to have something to be able to resist against as opposed to wasting your energy trying to hold still. Trust me, I know this works. Okay. Well, I've got the bleeding quelled with this tourniquet, and since, well, I found just a small modicum of mercy hidden somewhere in my heart, I'll actually give you the new medicine. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> it's something quite... quite good. <laughs> I actually just finished making my first batch yesterday. Huh. Perfect timing. <laughs> well. You could say it's never been tried before, at least not by me. Uh, it's not even my own personal recipe this time. Somebody else's. They, uh, claim it'll wipe out most of the pain. So, just trust me. You'll be feeling a lot better once you get this in your system. No, 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 no. <laughs> Relax. Don't go getting all wide-eyed this little thing. You were dumb enough to take on a mechanical man with a gun and got shut up, and now you're going to chicken out over some friend coming at you with a little needle? I swear. What's in it? The medicine, dumbass. Oh, the name. It's so new, it doesn't really have a name. Now quit stalling me. I'm injecting it now. Easy. There we go. Ah, <laughs> nice, isn't it? Exactly the reaction I was told to expect. How's the pain now? Wow. That's really great. Well, what do you know? Something good actually came from you getting your ass beat this time. <laughs> Hold on. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. What am I saying? 
you getting beat up is never a good thing, no matter what. Sure, you might be my favorite test subject, but that definitely does not give you the right to go jump into a situation that could break you. <sighs> Time to get this arm cleaned up. Yes, it's still going to hurt, but that medicine should mask most of it. Hmm. Not much more than a hiss from you. <laughs> well, this is really amazing. Science is amazing. Uh, sorry, I'm just... You know how I get when I'm trying out something new. That thrill of success, that anticipation of what I can do, the advancement of medicine. <laughs> There's nothing quite like it in this world. What's that? <laughs> no, this does not give you an excuse to keep on being reckless. You know what, maybe I shouldn't have given it to you. The pain of getting patched up is supposed to prevent you from getting into these situations. When faced with potential destructive situations, you're supposed to think, hmm, last time, bolting into a burning building caused me a lot of pain. I'd like to avoid that, so let's, you know, not do that again. <sighs> I mean, but who am I kidding? I never worked on you the first time, nor the second, or the third. Not a broken arm, a lost leg, nearly having your hand blown off. Not a single thing has slowed you down, has it? Okay. You know what comes next. Might as well prepare yourself. Alright. We'll be through with this before you even know it, just trust me. Remember, it won't be so hard to handle with the painkiller I gave you. No, 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 no. I know, I know. Just, just bear with me. Just, just a little longer. There. Done. Time to bandage you up. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> I can tell you over and over again, till I'm blue in the face, to not righteously fight your way through the bad guys, but at this rate, I don't think you'll ever listen. Let's get that head cleaned up now. Listen. I... I worry about you way too much. If something happens to you... Look. I'm taking care of you. I'm, I'm here with you now, but... One day... One day you might not be so lucky. No. N no, no, no. I would never leave you to bleed to death. Just... Please... Don't depend on me so heavily. I'll be here for as long as I can, but... If you keep getting yourself wrapped up in these dangerous situations... I might find you in such a bad state that... But even I won't be able to work my magic. Do you get the picture? I mean, if something happens to you that I can't fix, that's... That's it. No more you. You really ought to value your life a little bit more. I... I feel like as often as you get yourself wrapped up in these risky situations where you could seriously get hurt, I I value you more than you do. 
man, that's that's not the way it should be. So please, if if not for yourself, do it for me. Do I have to say it out loud? Or have you gotten the idea yet? Fine. I love you, okay? Don't... Don't give me that look. I mean... I mean... I... I, I mean, I don't mean that in a romantic s sense in well unless you wanted to it, hey quit that grin no <laughs> yeah no it's not a grin you're just wincing are you uh-huh <laughs> sure and those fresh tears are because it hurts yeah indeed all right then i see how it is <laughs> <sighs> Yeah. I love you, you idiot. More than I should. Alright. You're all patched up for now. Think you can stand? Yeah, I'm gonna help you up. And you're going right upstairs. And you're gonna stay all night and rest. What about me? Uh, well... I'll be staying up all night to be able to clean the lab. So, you can rest in my bed all night long. But I'll be kicking you out as soon as those guards come in to do their thing and leave, because I'll be needing it. Got it? You should be well enough to be able to get home after some rest. No, no, this isn't up for discussion. You're staying here for the night. I'll be right down in the back, so if you need anything. You can come and get me or just give me a holler. Good. That's more like it. Now oh, come on. Let's uh let's get you up those stairs. <laughs> 